Welcome back. In this fourth part of Introduction to Hyperworks tutorial series, we will focus on the solid map tool and try to create a hexapenta mesh. This is a type of 3D mesh. The solid map tool is very sophisticated and a good hexapenta mesh can be created just within a few clicks. Let's get right into it. The link for the CAD model used in this video is provided in the description. Feel free to download the CAD and follow this video step by step to get a clear understanding of the solid map tool. The main requirement for the solid map tool is to have a mappable solid. We will use the geometry editing options provided in Hyperworks to cut the part into separate mappable regions. Let's take a look at how this can be done. We will perform solid map meshing on this part. To check if this part is mappable, let's switch the weaving mode from automatic to mappable. As the solid is not shown in semi-transparent mode, it is not mappable. Now we will use the geometry editing tools in Hyperworks to cut this part into smaller mappable regions. Let's open the split option from geometry panel. As the part is symmetric about one plane, we can delete half section. After the other half is meshed, we will reflect the mesh on the deleted side. Let's use the split with planes option to split the solid in half. Set the target option to solids and select the solid. The cut plane can be selected interactively. We can drag the base node to required location. Use the review option to check if the operation will work as desired. Split the solid. Now we can switch the selection box to solids and simply delete half of the part. The remaining half is still not mappable. Let's use the split tool again. Now we will split the solid with surfaces. Select the solid and select this surface as tool. Make sure to select extend trimmer option. Let's review the cut and accept it. As you can see, the semi-transparent region of the part is now mappable. Let's move to the other solid. Select the solid and select the curved surface as tool. Let's review the cut. Split the solid. In just two steps, we have managed to make the half part mappable. Now we can start with the automatic solid mapping process. Open the solid map option from mesh tab. In the create sub option, we will select all the mappable solids. Let's use a mesh size of 5. Generate the surface mesh. We can see the 2D mesh that will be mapped in the next step. This mesh can be edited using the density, biasing and face edit options. We can adjust the node density along all geometric edges. Once we are satisfied with the surface mesh quality, create the final solid map mesh. Let's hide the geometry to view the mesh properly. The hexapenta elements are now visible. The next step is to mirror these elements to get the full part. For this, we will use the mirror tool. With selection box on elements, select all the elements. The mirror plane can be located interactively. Let's drag the base node to the required location. 
Now check the box next to keep original and mirror the elements. We can see the full part now. Although the mesh seems connected, it is not. We need to equivalence the nodes along mirror plane to ensure proper mesh connectivity. This can be done using the free edges tool in validate tab. Switch the entity selector to elements and select all the elements. Let's use tolerance value as 0.1. Preview equivalence to view the disconnected nodes in given tolerance range. As expected, these nodes are along the mirror plane. Now equivalence these nodes to connect the mesh. Once the operation is done, we can close this panel. We have successfully created a solid map hexapenta mesh on this part in just a few simple steps. And this is how we can perform solid map meshing in Hyperworks. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content. Thanks for watching.